good morning everyone so today's our lecture is about micro opto electromechanical systems the objective of this chapter is to study various topics as the major part is related with optical so the first topic is properties of light and their exploration with respect to the systems which utilizes optical electrical and mechanical parameters then we'll come to the next topic application of such systems then fundamental of such systems then we will learn about optical switching which includes principle concept design and applications then we will learn about the special light modulator then we'll go to the introduction to the digital micro mirror device then grating light valve then beam splitters and micro lenses then micro optic waveguide and stress strain measurement used for moems systems so let's start with the introduction of moems so the equipments or system which are built using discrete components and systems we all are aware that every system when design requires various components and such discrete components and elements are called singular devices many examples can be given such as electronic circuits and systems which are designed with the help of basic electronic components and electrical elements such as transistors diodes resistors capacitors and so on so here we can consider any circuit which is utilized in the electrical appliances such as uh, remotes of acs and tvs that require such basic components another example here we can discuss an optical system such as an optical transceiver so a transceiver is a system that is capable of transmitting and receiving the optical signal from one unit to another unit and it is designed by using various basic optical devices and component such as light emitter waveguide directional coupler and so on so here we can discuss about the tachometer optical based which work upon such basic singular optical devices so there are some other devices which are not singular but hybrid in nature the meaning here is that uh, such devices are able to handle many types of signals such as electrical optical and rf based such systems are known as hybrid systems now coming to the hybrid systems oem opto electromechanical devices are claimed to be hybrid type device because the word itself uh, means that it utilizes optical devices some 
electronics and mechanical components that's why such system is known as hybrid type OEM devices utilize the principles properties and method of optical electronics electrical and mechanics in order to make themselves operational when the OEM devices are designed at the micro scale level they are called micro opto electromechanical devices or MOEM in short so later in the lecture we'll use its abbreviation MOEM thus such system combines optical theory with the popular microelectronics and micromechanics you all students already have studied microelectronics and micromechanics in this course of MEMS now we will include micro optical theory in combination with microelectronics and micro mechanics and a broader class of micro devices properly proper, popularly known as MOEMS devices here we have one of the figure which shows you that how the synergistic integration of diverse principle and methods are concerned like there is an individual optics rule individual electronics rule and some individual mechanics rule these all basic principles you have studied in your uh, lower graduation either in physics or at engineering level it at electronics and mechanics when electronics and optics is combined then it gives a subdomain opto electronics similarly when optics and mechanics is combined it gives a subdomain opto mechanics when electronics and mechanics is combined it gives a separate domain electromechanics and when such three subdomains are combined then it generate micro opto electro mechanical devices so it can be seen that in MOEM systems the major part is optics electronics and mechanics now because of the involvement of optical theory and its methods such MOEMS systems requires a different set of rules for operation as opposed to the normal MEMS world the meaning is that we have studied that how the MEMS devices work based upon the uh, modeling of electrical systems electronic systems mechanical systems but now because of the involvement of the optical theory these MOEMS systems operate in a different way MOEMS has been considered as a new technology which involves complexity here complexity because we have to handle with three different theories related to optical electronics and mechanical so we should be uh, having a synergistic integration of these three subjects and we should have a basic knowledge of all these three subjects its design method is not as simple as that of the basic opto electronic devices because now we have to work at micro level where electronics and mechanical will also integrate with the optical devices coming to the application part MOEMS have emerged 
to provide unparalleled functionality in telecommunication applications. As a specific example, a traditional tunable micro laser and optical switching based on MOMEMS technology has improved the capability of wavelength division multiplexing. If I broadly say MOEMS devices are found in beam splitting, beam combining, beam shaping, phase array and display applications. Later on in this chapter we will come upon how the beam splitting works and how the others are utilized in various applications. Manufacturers of MEMS devices have forecasted many new opportunities of industrial test and measurement including military and control sectors. So typical applications are listed here like array of micro mirrors for digital image processing and as this is the advanced technology which is combined with the IoT and implemented to various projects. Then optical switches and routers, variable attenuators to weaken the signal length, shutters, then tunable sources where you can tune the wavelength and frequency as an input to the device and filters then reflection modulators spectral equalizers so such devices are used for spectral analysis optical sensing and optical communication some more applications are micro scanners which we use for barcode reading generally uh, you must have seen that when you purchase any product and if the billing is on the digital platform then they generally scan the barcodes to get the information then many uh, robotic devices and uh, other systems have obstacle detection system so it is based upon the micro scanners then deformable membrane for adaptive optics which can be utilized for astronomy, ophthalmology, FSO and defense system, free space micro optics, guided optic devices, optical sources and photo detectors. So there are various applications. We'll go into the detail that how MOEMS has been used in such application later on in this chapter. Again, a table of various application of MOEMS is given. So here, this column represents the broader application. Then related to that broader application, we have some specific applications. And then some communication application. So in case of biomedical, it is used as scanning. And that can be done with the help of switches then in case of automotive it can be projection if you talk about domestic purpose then it is printing so various applications are given here where MOEMS has been utilized but this is not the limitation they are uh, it can be used in different fields So if I talk about how MOEMS system is advantageous over the MEMS. So although the ultimate speed of MOEMS is unlikely to compete with solid state optoelectronic devices. But the position that can be achieved with these system 
is such that they contribute good performance because optical signaling signaling is immune to noise and interference and bears negligible signal degradation the meaning is uh, when we work with the solid state optoelectronic devices that time there are lot of noise and interference which comes into the system which comes into the system and when we work with moems systems that time we can overcome such noise and interference as a matter of fact the technology is being ex accepted as the preferred choice in the areas where the demand is for the implementation of flexible all optical signal methods so wherever we are implementing flexible all optical signal methods there this moems devices are accept accepted in a large manner the main advantages are listed here miniaturization that the things are working at micro and nano level so it is only possible with the help of the combination of optical electro mechanical systems then high accuracy can be achieved then insensitivity to the electromagnetic interference can be used in harsh environment these are more secured high sensitivity and selectivity reliability and availability mass production capability hence low manufacturing cost that's all for today thank you have a nice day